Welcome back to another um, video of Master IV Fluid course. Last video we talked about lower and upper. Today we're going to talk about hypotension without shock. It may seem a weird title, right? But it's a very common question while you're covering the floor or ICU. The nurse will call you the blood pressure is low. But the patient is asymptomatic, right? And the patient is not showing other signs of hypoperfusions or other signs of hemodynamic instability. And this could be, again, this could be baseline low blood pressure to start with, or could be drug induced or false measurements by the nurse or nurse technician who are doing that. So the first thing is verify is the patient is really hypotensive and there is a difference in definition what low blood pressure right because a blood pressure for me 90 over 60 could be pretty normal but could be really low and you could be symptomatic from that for another patient right so unlike high blood pressure where there's a clear definition the low blood pressure there is no clear definition so first of all verify it's low so verify it's not a false measurement and the best thing is look at the trend if the blood pressure has been very good all day and now suddenly dropped, definitely ask the nurse to repeat it, even manually. Or you go yourself and repeat it. So that's the first thing. If the blood pressure has been running low and the trend been like this, this could be, and the patient is asymptomatic, could be the baseline of this patient. And the best thing, ask your patients, hey, what's your blood pressure usually runs at home? And most of them, they know that, right? So let's say he's saying, no, blah, my blood pressure is usually good, 120s at home. And let's say you verify the blood pressure is now is 80 over, let's say, 40. And you verify the patient is asymptomatic. That means you need to act now so it doesn't become an emergency, right? So the first thing I do, of course, stop all medication, drugs, that decrease the blood pressure at that moment okay so that's the first thing blood pressure so bp so remember that a lot of us forget about it second is give a fluid bolus and the only limiting factor is as i said pulmonary edema Peripheral edema is not a limiting factor. Is pulmonary edema is the limiting factor. Crackles, a patient is getting short of breath, increased oxygen requirement. That's how you tell. So what kind of fluid bolus? Again, this is kind of volume resuscitation. So you pick LR or NS. Because each liter of those, 250 ml cc will stay intravascularly as we explained before so usually i tell the nurse okay based on my assessment give 500 to a thousand cc bolus and if you are concerned you can slow it down bolus mean wide open as soon as possible and depends on how fast the pump can run that could be over 30 minutes you can make it over an hour and some people make it over two hours so it's really up to you and how comfortable you are uh, but the sooner the better and then recheck blood pressure again after that let's assume it's still low i would also give another repeat if still low repeat the fluid bolus and I tell the nurse, hey, please check on the patient. If you see the patient is getting short of breath, if you started hearing crackles or you have to put him in oxygen, let me stop the fluids and let me know right away. Otherwise, I will give a second bolus and most of the time that will improve their blood pressure. If it doesn't improve, go ahead back and, and if, especially if the patient remained asymptomatic, is really the patient maybe that's his baseline so look into that so but a common phone call low blood pressure please do these things verify it's accurate is it base their baseline if not 
Is it related to their drugs? As I said, stop all drugs that would lower blood pressure first and give fluid bolus. Of course, you need to check is, we said asymptomatic, but the patient could be, is the patient losing fluid? Okay, but most of the time the patient losing fluids would show other signs of volume depletion, tachycardia, etc. Becoming symptomatic, vomiting, diarrhea, or lower HNH, something like that. But for now, that's how you're going to respond to this question on the floor for somebody with asymptomatic low blood pressure you follow. Please follow these first before you act on it. I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.